we just got Perry Shake straight in to give away her teddy because she's got loads. Are you giving away your teddy as well? No, because I need this teddy to yep. get me to Doha. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's a little reminder how Fair it enough. feels to be on a podium. To be victorious. To be victorious. But well, the medal isn't enough. Hold it out. Oh, look at it. Silver. So, you know what? We're, we're doing it in stages. We had Olympic bronze, European silver. So, I, I'm chasing that gold. Why not? <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling really tired, which is a good thing because it's tired from training. Um, my new setup in Wigan. I see you going hard in them hills. Listen, I have a lot of respect. I had respect for Jenny before, so I'm training with Jenny and Trevor Paint as my coach now. But I remember seeing my first month's schedule and I thought, wow, I was brave just stepping to you. But that's what I have. I have that fire and that just, you know, that natural talent. So it's really nice to be teaming up with a team because it's both of them really. Jenny mentors me, but Trevor understands the science and he, he appreciates that I am that speed you know, person and he's not just trying to hammer me with endurance. But we, we work on my weaknesses and try and minimise them and maximise my strength, which is my speed and my power. Jenny Meadows' tweets about her husband are amazing. Oh. Like, it, the night terrors that he has are, are kind of crazy. I ain't going to lie, we'll get into that another time. <laughs> Talk about how... Well, I, only because I see the tweets. I mean, I don't know nothing else myself. Um, you're clutching it in a way that lets me know how significant it is, that medal. Um, Nine years later. So let's take the positives. The sport's cleaning up to the point where yeah. you can get that medal nine years later. Mm. But you don't get the money that you should have got either. How do you feel about that? Um, that is the sore spot. You know, I've got, I go up and down the country, you know, talking to kids, inspiring them to believe in their dreams. But I keep it real with them as well. And I've got a whole um, slide that's called Stolen Moments. And I've had several stolen moments. And, you know, it's not just the medal that, you know, the moment in the moment, but there's been so much sponsorship. Right now I have no sponsors. And, you know, people are a bit, you know, ageist in this country. So they don't think I can come back. And that's fine. I back myself. God's got me. And I have a great support system around me but the reality is I still got to pay my bills so it's not gonna be easy but I've learned to to just be tough and dig deep and if you really want something you're gonna find ways and I'm very resourceful um, and I'm enjoying it again I think I let a lot of the pressures external pressures get to me which means you, you get distracted by the wrong things so this year I'm just focused on you know 2020 vision Doha is a stop along the way um, and just you know it's a lo lovely long season so I'm just gonna plot my races enjoy getting out there well done baby girl um, and just enjoy being back out there we've got such amazing fans in athletics and they're just rooting for me as well and, and just days like today just gives me that taste of being back in the arena and out on the track so that's what I'm hungry for Barcelona, what was your fondest memory apart from obviously the bronze at the time, now silver? Can you remember those championships? I know it was his, <laughs> my cameraman's first outdoor major. It was, wasn't it? Second. Second. Um, oh yeah, after 2009. So what do you remember? What was the fond memories from there? Tell so me that story that just came into your head. I have such a bad memory, that's why I'm laughing. Um, I remember Barcelona. Shape-wise, I wasn't really coming into it as fit as I wanted to. I think I was shaking off an injury, but around the first round, the 800, gutted. But then, for me, I always get to bounce back with the 4x4. Four four. So that's one of the things I loved, coming together with the girls and let's just do battle. Perry was on the team and, you know, she was. we knew we were going to be good. It was a solid team, got the baton from Nicola. And I just remember being really um, just grateful for that opportunity and that gave me the the confidence going into winter to get ready for the, the next season. And Barcelona is a wicked city. Loved it. I think Jodie and Bayo <laughs> took me out after <laughs> to con console my, my woes from the 800. But no, it was a great championship. Shalena just ran past. Yes. She's repping in your event right now. Yes. Um, a word about her. Beast. Um, yeah, you know what? I've, I've watched her grow. You know, we started off in the same training group. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to do as much training with her because she was based at university at the time. But I always knew when we had sessions together, she was just incredibly strong. And that's what we're seeing from her out there. You know, she's taking no prisoners, you know, and I just love it. She's bossing it. She's running smart. And she, um, we're, you know, we're just seeing sort of a tiny bit of her at the moment. So I'm really excited for that final tomorrow. She's really confident from her interviews I think I had an interview with you and she's just in control and that's a lovely place to be as an athlete coming into a championship you must be looking forward to getting on against these luck again yes <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to racing all of them um, you know obviously I'll be the vet of the team but I've learned a lot stop saying that that don't matter <laughs> that don't mean anything it doesn't because you know it's, it's about how you feel and I just feel like 
I'm so hungry and, and you know, I'm a, I'm a girl on a mission. So I'm excited to mix, to get mixing it up. My training is a little bit different, which I said, if I'm coming back, I need to do something different. Um, so I'm excited to go out there with a bit more of a script. Um, I'm still as fast as I, you know, as I could want to be, which is my, my main confidence. That's what I am. I'm speed and power. So yeah, I'm really excited. Well, last question then, and I don't want to end on a sad note, but just looking at your coaching setup now and looking at your coach then, he's not here no more, is he? How pleased would he have been? Oh, he, he, AO was just a phenomenal character. He was always telling me how great I was and we always talked about medals, so he would have been so proud. You know, I, I really felt it in the summer when he wasn't there to see me get my Olympic bronze, but I owe a lot of these medals to him because he really, really you know, made me the beast that I am. So I owe a lot to AO, rest your soul. <laughs> RIP for Lola. Um, thanks for your time. Thank you, so good Looking to forward see to seeing you, you in the mix zone. Yes, I miss the scene, I miss you guys. So.